Hey parents, home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan by visiting causeforalarm.org. Hello, critter protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our critter protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a warm day in the Amazon rainforest. Sunlight filtered down through the trees and created a warm green glow. The ground was covered with dead leaves, fallen twigs, and every kind of plant you could imagine. There were viney plants, and spiky plants, and bushy plants. Some of them were covered with flowers, and some of them had moss hanging from their branches. Hiding at the base of a plant with especially big leaves was Paco, Paco the Pac-Man frog. Yes, you heard that right. Pac-Man frogs are named after the video game where a hungry yellow circle <laughs> chomps up everything in his path. This is because Pac-Man frogs are really round and have a ginormous mouth compared to most other frogs. They also can be bright yellow, green, brown, red. Wow, there's so many different colors that Pac-Man frogs can come in. What's that noise? Thought Paco. Oh, <laughs> it's my stomach growling because I am so hungry. Paco had heard the other frogs say that there were some really delicious crickets nearby, but he only knew how to catch worms. Paco was determined to try something different. Today's the day, he shouted. The day I catch my first cricket. He stepped out from under the leafy plant and blinked his eyes in the sunshine. Blink, 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 blink. As he looked around, he saw a flash of orange coming from the branches of a nearby tree. It was Mr. Toucan. Good morning, Mr. Toucan, said Paco. I'm going to catch my first cricket today. I'm tired of eating only worms and I want to try something new. Do you have any hunting tips to share? Good day, young sir. Your inquiry is a noble one for crickets. are quite tasty. I would recommend flying down to the river and checking there. But Mr. Cook, Cook, uh, Mr. Toucan, I... I can't fly, said Paco sadly. And it's too far to walk on my short little legs. Oh dear, that would pose a problem. I'm sorry I cannot be of more assistance. I must be going. Best of luck to you. Paco watched Mr. Toucan flap away and out of sight. Oh, if only I had wings, he thought. Suddenly, Paco remembered something. He'd often seen snakes slithering through tight spaces on their way to the nearby stream. Maybe he could catch crickets by crawling through tight spaces like they did. Time to hunt like a snake! Paco walked bravely towards the base of a big tree. He knew the stream was on the other side because he could hear the water rushing and bubbling. The forest was too thick for him to go around the tree, but he noticed a small gap between a large root and the ground. Perfect! 
this is just the kind of thing I was hoping for. Paco tried his best to squeeze through the little space, and it was working. Using all his strength, pop! The little round frog fit his front legs and head through the gap. He could see the stream on the other side of the tree. I'm so close, I can almost even taste the cricket's snow. Suddenly, Paco could not move. No matter how hard he tried, he wiggled and wobbled and grunted and groaned, but he was stuck. What am I supposed to do? No, he said. Feeling upset, Paco laid his head down in the mud. I'm so hungry. I'm, I wish at least I could have a worm to eat. Oh, hey, that's it. When I hunt for worms, I dig in the mud. Yeah, maybe I can dig myself out of here. Excited to have a plan, Paco began to scrape ferociously at the ground beneath him. After a few moments of digging, he found himself on the other side of the tree. You, that was a close one. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to hunt like a snake anymore. I'm not good at slithering. Just when he was feeling sad and ready to give up, Paco heard a familiar voice coming from the water. Hey, Paco, over here. It was his friend, Miss Otter. Paco couldn't wait to ask her about hunting. Oh, Miss Otter, hi, I, I wanted to catch some crickets today, but I don't know how to do anything bes besides dig for worms. How do you hunt? Well... Swimming is my favorite way to hunt. I do it every single day. That's it. I knew I could count on you. No, cried Miss Otter, but it was too late. Using every ounce of his strength, Paco had leaped into the stream. He tried his best to swim, but his round body and tiny legs made it impossible. The current was pushing him downstream. Help! Sputtered Paco as he was washed away. Oh no! How in the world is Paco going to get out of this one? There's so many problems. He's got a hungry belly, but that seems to be less of a problem right now as he's floating downstream. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. And will he catch a cricket? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Hey friends, it's time for some Critter Protector shoutouts. I want to say hey to Maria from Ontario, John from Texas, Elliot from Idaho, Clara from New Zealand, Quinn from Montana, and Kendrick from Utah. I'm so glad that you're all on our Critter Protector team. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Hey parents, home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan by visiting causeforalarm.org.